What's up, internet? So, binili ko yung tatlong pinakamura na gaming monitor sa Lazada. Yung problema, day one pa lang, may issue na. What the hell is this? Oh, pero... Ang maganda tong video na to, ah. Binili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, kalito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working cdk ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Pero bago nun, dinawin muna natin ano ba yung gaming monitor. Minimum specs usually is at least 24 inches tapos 144 hertz refresh rate. Nung binili ko tong tatlong monitors na to, malinaw na malinaw na at least 144 hertz sila. Yung problema, pagdating sa akin, ni isa sa kanila, 144 hertz. Kasi lahat sila, more than 144 hertz. Yung posted na marketing is that they do 144 hertz. Pero actually, lahat ng monitors na to do 165 hertz. Mas maganda pa yung actual specs niya kaysa sa posted specs. Naloko ako in reverse. <laughs> Kung baga nagbayad ako expecting this much speed, tas yung nakuha ko this much speed. Comparison muna tayo of the three monitors. All are 24 inches. All can display 165 hertz. Was worried since budget monitor, walang cables na kasama. But the Migo and Reb ML both come with a DP cable and the viewpoint came with an HDMI cable. Overall, not bad. IPS panel daw yung Migo and Reb ML at least based on the specs on their packaging. Walang nakalagay sa box ni viewpoint anong panel niya. Most importantly for all three monitors, wala akong nakita na screen tearing in any of my game time. Bale wala lang yung high refresh rate if the display quality has jagged tearing. Yung hindi smooth yung pag-display ng game. I played both Valorant and Titanfall 2 on all of the monitors. And to be fair sa cheap nating monitors, wala silang problema displaying high frame rates. Viewpoint did claim to have free sync and it's enabled through the monitor's menu. The other two did not have any options for free sync, but they did the job well anyway. Deep dive tayo into each monitor starting with Amigo. Ito yung best packaged monitor. May kasama pang wooden frame. Akala ko ito na yung first unboxing ko na kailangan ng martilyo. But a screwdriver did the trick. Ironically, kahit maganda yung packaging, yung Migo yung pinakabulok na build quality. Siya yung may white spot, not a dot, as in spot talaga, dun sa lower left portion, starting from day one. This white area is much larger than a couple of pixels, and it reminds me of the white spots on my very old and obviously failing LG TV. Mas noticeable siya when you're displaying gray or white tones, it's not clearly visible on a black background. Natatanggal na rin yung frame niya, there is a noticeable gap between the frame and the display. For display quality, medyo muted yung colors for me, especially considering na IPS screen daw to. I did recalibrate the monitor since underwhelming nga yung display quality out of the box. The Migo overall has some problems. Fortunately, the second monitor we tried, the Reb ML, walang glaring deficiencies. Colors look good out of the box, hindi na nga ako calibrate No issues with build quality. This is what you want from any monitor, budget or otherwise. Pag labas mo, ready to go na siya, and it does what it says it will do. No mas, no fuss. Yung malabo lang sa Reb ML, Reb ML yung tatak sa monitor, but it was sold under the name AOC SXM. Tapos yung isang review sa Lazada page nila, yung tatak sa monitor in the screenshot provided by the customer, not Reb ML or AOC SXM, but Razer. <laughs> so this monitor is pretty good, but if you order it, will you get the same one as I tested? Or some other variant? Most likely the panels are the same, they just ship them out under different names. But it does raise concerns na you're not quite sure ano yung makukuha mo. Interestingly, the Migo and the Reb ML look very similar physically and maybe even had the same product designation. 
Although there were physical differences between the two monitors, tapos yung power bricks nila medyo magkaiba din. Yung last monitor natin, the viewpoint, may konting weirdness but not as bad as the Migo. For one, yung default language niya nakaset to Spanish. Si, habla un poco de español, pero mi preferencia es inglés. Gracias y todo. On the display quality itself, I can't quite make up my mind. Medyo dark yung initial setting niya and washed out yung colors. The black was not as deep black and the colors not as punchy or contrasting as the other two monitors. So I put it on 100 brightness and calibrated the colors a bit. At first, I felt hindi pa rin siya ganun kaganda. Pero after using it for a longer time, nasanay na rin ako and now things look okay. So certainly, hindi wow yung display quality, pero pwede na. Bottom line, all of the cheap gaming monitors are really gaming monitors. Mabilis yung refresh rate at walang screen tearing. Yung final at baka yung pinakamahalagang consideration is the pricing. Nabili ko tong lahat ng monitors na to during a Lazada sale. So baka mas mahal sila ngayon. The most expensive one was the viewpoint at almost 7,000 pesos. Ito rin yung pinaka-consistent in terms of quality, but you're paying a bit more for that assurance. Not far behind is the Migo at around 6,500 pesos. Well, packaged nga siya. Yung problema, hanggang packaging lang yung quality. Yun nga, we experienced a lot of build quality issues with this monitor. Not recommended at this price point. Substantially cheaper is the AOC Reb ML na yun yung pinakagusto na quality right out of the box. Mga 5,900 lang siya. So alin sa tatlo yung okay sa'yo? If you don't want too many surprises, go with the viewpoint. Pero you're paying a bit more for that assurance. Personally, I would go for the AOC. Magdasal ka na lang na tama or good quality yung mapadala sa'yo. Pero kahit naka-gaming monitor ka, hindi ibig sabihin magaling ka na maglaro. On all three monitors, banu pa rin ako mag-Valorant. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.